So you're on your Fire Stick or maybe Chromecast with Google TV and you're just fed up with these massive adverts taking up so much space on your home screen, all of this sponsored content, sponsored applications, and really just slowing your device down. On top of that, as you guys know, on the Fire Stick Lite, we have this issue where applications, especially third-party applications, just don't show the tile properly. So we have no idea what these applications are. Now on my device, when I press the home key, we get to see the lean back launcher. And as we can see on this launcher, we have no issues with any applications not showing their tile properly. We also have no sponsored content, no sponsored adverts. And as you can just see guys, this launcher just performs so much better than the stock launcher. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get the latest version of the lean back launcher on your Fire Stick and also your Chromecast with Google TV. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm gonna do my demonstration on the latest Fire Stick Lite, but you can also follow this process on any other Amazon device as long as it runs Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. And I'll also show the install steps on the Chromecast with Google TV, as on that device, you do have to install a slightly modded version of this launcher. Now as per normal, make sure you've got the install from unknown sources available. And let's now open up Downloader. Inside Downloader, we can navigate to my website by just typing in the code 53402 or you can use your favorite browser and just navigate to techdoctoruk.com. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, and click on tutorials. So it's not gonna be the latest tutorial in the list, but if you keep going down, it's this one here. So launcher manager for Fire OS 6 and also Android TV devices. So that's the one you want to open up. And if you scroll down, just under the step-by-step -step instructions, we should have the direct links to the applications. So we only need to install two things, the launcher manager, which will allow us to change our default launcher to a custom launcher and also a custom launcher. Now, if you already have a launcher manager on your device, then you don't have to install this again. You can go straight to the custom launcher. So I scroll down. And of course, if you have a Shield TV, this is the launcher manager that you need. If you have the Chromecast, use this one. And if you have Amazon device, you can use the older version here of the launcher manager or as I mentioned in my last video, you can use the updated one here, which has a much cleaner layout and some extra features. So because I'm doing this on the Fire Stick Lite, the first thing we're going to get is the new launcher manager. Let's click on that, which is version 1.04. Scroll down and click on the green download button. So install that onto your device first. Once you've done that, let's now press the back button and let's now get the new custom launcher. So these are the different Wolf launchers for the different devices. And we can see we now have two lean back launchers. Now, if you have any of the Amazon devices, get version 1.24. If you have the Chromecast, then get version 1.23. And although this is a slightly older version, this has a fix that Sween Wolf put in, allowing you to browse the internal storage when you want to change the wallpaper. So again, because I'm on my Fire Stick, I'm gonna go for the first one. Click on that, scroll down, and go for the green download button here. Now, in case you're wondering what's the difference between Wolf Launcher and uh, the Leanback Launcher, I would say the Wolf Launcher is a lot more advanced. It does have more features like the support of widgets on certain devices, it allows you to create custom sections, you can create custom folders, you can even password protect those folders. So it does have a lot more advanced features. Whereas the Leanback Launcher is a lot more simpler. It doesn't have all of those extra features, those extra customization options. And in some ways you could say that if you are looking for more of a stock Android TV like experience, then if that's your requirement, then probably Leanback will be more suitable for you. Let's click on install. That's now all done. I can click on done. Click on delete just to get that space back. And let's now press the home key and we're now going to open up the launcher manager. So let's go over to my uh, three dots over here. 
So we can see all of the applications. And I believe this application here is the launcher manager. So let's open that up. This is what the new launcher manager looks like. And we can see on the left, it's saying that the KFTV is my current launcher, which is the stock launcher. So I'm now going to click on this uh, drop down over here. And let's now click on disable stock launcher. Now, the very first time you do this, you will see a prompt saying that do you authorize this ADB connection? If you do see that prompt, click on always allow and click on OK. Now we can see on the left here, it says that the current launcher is the Android system because at the moment there's no default launcher set. So when I now press the home key, it's now asking which custom launcher do you want to use? So we can see we have Wolf at the bottom, but I'm now going to set home screen, which is in fact the lean back launcher. So let's click on always. And just like that, we're inside the lean back launcher. And probably the first thing you can notice straight away is we have no more issue of missing tiles. All of the applications, including the third party applications, now correctly display their banner tile. So we can see all of my applications here. And of course, no adverts, no sponsored content. And we can now customize our home screen exactly how we like it. So do give a thumbs up for that. Now, probably the first thing you want to do in terms of customization is to change that background. Now here we can just search for 1080p wallpapers or desktop wallpapers. Alternatively, if you want to use my wallpapers, we can type in the short code 73146. So here we can see my wallpaper collection. Now we can see I can't actually scroll down, but if you press the context key, which is one of the three lines and click on full screen, and now we can see all of it. So in this example, let's just download uh, this one over here. Let's click on that. And let's now click on the download arrow and click on download. And again, anything that you download through downloader will appear in the downloader folder. The only trouble is with the lean back launcher, it doesn't look in the downloader folder. It looks in the folder one level above it, basically where it says SD card. So for us to use any of these wallpapers, we do have to manually copy them out from the downloader folder into the folder above. Now the easiest way to do that, if I click on done, let's press the home key. We can see we go straight to our custom launcher. And let's now open up a file explorer application like me explorer. Let's click on that. This is also available on my downloads page. Now if I scroll down in the list, now this is the folder where it says internal storage. This is where your wallpapers need to go. But as I mentioned before, anything that we download through downloader, will actually appear in this folder here, the downloader folder. So let me now click on that. Let's scroll down. And let's see if I can find a wallpaper that I just downloaded, which was the Mando one, here it is. Okay, so for example, if I want to use this wallpaper, all I need to do is press and hold the select button. I can now go to the top, because that's highlighted, and click on the copy icon, which is the one next to the trash can. So let's click on that. We can see that's now copied. I now need to go up a folder. So if I go to the left and click on internal storage, we are now one folder above and you know you're in the right folder because we can see the downloader folder here. So we now need to paste that wallpaper here where we are now. So if I now go to the paste icon, which is at the top here and click there again, it says one file copied and we can verify that by going down in the list so underneath all these folders, we can see these are the wallpapers that we can now use inside Leanback. So let's now press the home key. We're inside the custom launcher. Let's scroll down and we can go to the launcher options. This is how we customize this launcher. Let's click on that. Let's go to the home screen view. Let's go to default wallpaper. Let's click on choose wallpaper. Let's click on allow. And we can see it says there, look, put your wallpaper images in the root directory, which is the top level directory. So when I now press the back button now and go back into choose wallpaper, it should now see all of those pictures in there. So let's say for example, we want to go for the Mando one. Let's click on that. Let's now press the home key. And just like that, we've now customized our lean back launcher with our own custom wallpaper. 
Now, as I mentioned before, this launcher is definitely more on the simple side. And for lots of you, you may actually prefer that. So in terms of customization, if I go down again, go to launcher, go to home screen view, uh, let's go to uh, edit home rows. Okay, now, Lots of you have been asking for this, the ability to change our inputs when you are in your Fire Stick. Now, I know some of you have the Fire TV recast, and I believe if I turn this on, which is now the inputs row, we should see an extra line at the bottom where we can now navigate to the different inputs we have on our device. Here we can choose to customize and see our favorites row. If you want to see the videos row, right, let's leave those as defaults. Let's go back. Uh, let's change the banners. Now the banner size I like to change down to 80, but of course it is personal preference. But just to show you what you can do in terms of customization. And I also like to increase the corner radius to 40, just to make the edges uh, a little bit more smoother. That's now all done. Let's press the back button. Or in fact, let's press the home key. So first you can see now the icons are look a lot more rounded and they look a little bit smaller, which I personally think looks better. And if I scroll down, and we can now see I have the inputs rows. So using this, I can now navigate straight to my uh, channels app, or to the set top box, or to the Fire TV recast, which I don't have, but if any of you guys have it, please do test this out and leave me a comment below. Um, so we can see guys, we've now customized this. Uh, let's say for example, I'm not interested in music. I can go back into the launcher options, Go to the home screen view. Let's edit the home rows. And I'm going to say turn off music. So show music row, that's now off. Let's press the back button, press the home key. And we can see that line has now been removed. The other thing you can do is add applications into your favorites. So if I'm always using this application here, I can press the context key, which is one of the three lines and click on add to favorites. Let's press the back button. And let's say I'm always using this application, add to favorites. And lastly, I'm always using uh, this application, add to favorites. Let's press the back button. And we can see we now have a new favorites row, giving us quick access to our most used applications. So you can see guys, it really is a very simple launcher, very easy to customize. And if you are looking for that stock Android TV experience on your Fire Stick or Chromecast, this is definitely worthwhile checking out. So that's pretty much it for the Fire Stick. Let me now jump over to the Chromecast. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you like this video and leave the comment hashtag leanback, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And here we are on the Chromecast. And once again, guys, you can see just massive adverts on the home screen, uh, whether you're interested in these applications or not. Uh, lots of sponsored content. So let's now quickly change that. So again, from our website, I've downloaded the Launcher Manager for Chromecast, and I've also downloaded the Leanback version for the Chromecast. So let's now go over to my applications. Here is the Launcher Manager for Chromecast. Let's open that up. We can see at the moment, the active launcher is the Google TV launcher. Let's now click on Disable Stock, and we can now see that the active launcher is the Leanback launcher. So if I now press the Home key, and we are inside the Leanback launcher. And we can see I've already changed the background. And because this launcher is actually designed for Android TV, if I use my voice, what's the weather in London? We can see that works straight away and actually shows you the graphics in that answer. So it's working great. Similarly, you can also use your voice and say, open YouTube. So all of those features, the voice navigation, the voice control, works absolutely fine on this Chromecast with Google TV. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for alternatives to the Wolf Launcher. And as you've seen in this video, this really is a great alternative for that. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.